hand away when I when I put the fish towards them. And all the half moons know to hit my hand. So that's part of the reason that we wear gloves. It shows you that sharks are not these vicious, mindless eating machines. I'll keep an eye on that guy, see if he gets low enough that he wants to come down towards the feeding station and eat. Some days the shark feed is very exciting, and some days it's not as thrilling as you might think it would be. So you never know. Uh, that's right. Uh, I've had lots of uh, friends to feed in our exhibit here. We're also in a pub floor, so yep. this is really important to all these animals. As a whole, they have kind of layers to it, a little bit like a rainforest. Um, and the kelp is also very important to us. We actually use kelp uh, in lots of everyday things. So thank you, everybody. You probably got some kelp today. What would hope? And they didn't even know it. What would hope? How many of you, I, I always get scared when I ask this question. How many of you brushed your throat, but I got a, oh, I got a shark meat and a fish hit me on the thing. Uh, how many of you brushed your teeth this morning? Anybody? Oh, thank goodness. That's better than most times. That is. That's and in all honesty, most of the times, because most people either don't listen or they just don't want to raise their hand because they, they don't care. How many of you like ice cream? Anybody? Ah, more hands. How many of you wash your hair? And see, usually a bald guy raises, raises his hand. Anyhow, all those things have kelp in them because kelp is actually used as ground up and used as a binder or an emulsifier and is in those various products. And so um, when we ask if you had your kelp today, that's usually what we're, uh, we're talking about again. I tell you, I held that nice fish out and he turned his head I could not have been more nice about presenting that fish to that shark, and he turned his head away. And then what you may have noticed was the sheep head came in, because I sort of held it out there too long, and he said, well, if the shark's not going to eat, I'll take it.